One by one, dozens of Columbia Richland firefighters filing into a hearing on how their department protects the region. Their unified front, a show of support for continuing a joint city-county agreement that has been in place for fire service since 1990. Thank you for inviting us. I think this is a major step. For nearly two hours Monday, Fire Chief Aubrey Jenkins and his command staff making its case to Richland County leaders to continue the city-county agreement that gives the chief authority over staffing, equipment, and decisions at all 32 fire stations. It's not only enough just to have the responsibility, but, you know, I've got to have the authority to implement on the programs. However, county leaders want more of a say in how the chief, no matter who it is, uses Richland County's $17 million a year contribution to the fire system. The county in, in the past should have had more input with regards to their uh, funding. We should have been tracking those dollars a long time ago. Both sides of the issue think there was progress made Monday, but if negotiations fall through, the county is researching its own separate fire service as a backup. Something critics say it isn't equipped to put in place at this point and would sharply increase homeowners' insurance rates. Not only county residents, but also city residents, residents of Blythewood, Forest Acres, uh, Arcadia Lakes, all those little incorporated areas within Richland County would also have a drastic direct impact.